So, how ideal is an ideal cache? Does ideal compare to real? I want to go over some facts that help justify the ideal cache model. Remember that the ideal cache model seem to have some superpowers. So a technical question is, are the assumptions of the ideal cache model too strong? What I want to do now is go over the justification from the original Cache Oblivious model paper, which was by Frigo et al. and appeared in the Foundations of Computer Science, or Fox, 1999. The first fact is about the assumption of optimal replacement. It's a lemma, and here's what it says. Suppose you take your algorithm, and you count the number of cache misses it incurs on a machine with an LRU replacement policy. Now suppose you're given a different machine. This machine has the same line size, but it only has half the cache. It also implements an optimal replacement policy rather than an LRU policy. In other words, it has a better replacement policy, but it has less space. It's both slightly better, being optimal, but also slightly worse, having less space. The lemma says that the number of transfers on the LRU machine will be within a factor of two of the number of transfers on this slightly better, slightly worse, optimal machine. Now I know what you might be thinking. Huh? What the? At first glance, this lemma may seem a bit odd, but here's a very natural interpretation. Suppose you design an algorithm assuming optimal replacement, which is what we're going to be doing. Then the performance of that algorithm on a more realistic LRU machine will be asymptotically close. In other words, optimal replacement isn't as strong an assumption as you might think. Now there's a more specific technical requirement, which is one of regularity. We say qopt is regular if it's big O of qopt with twice the cache. In other words, let's say you design an algorithm and you find out what qopt is on a machine with an optimal replacement policy. What you calculate for qopt is regular if qopt is big O of qopt with twice the cache. So if you can show that qopt is regular in this sense, then qlru will be proportional to qopt. <laughs> 